It is finally Christmas season at Dollywood. Let's bring in our Sevier County Bureau Chief Kyle Granger, who's live there now as Kyle's staff transformed the park into a beautiful winter wonderland. Yes, we have everything set to go here for Smoky Mountain Christmas with lights twinkling all around us. The buildings are lit up, the trees are full, but across the way, Dollywood's second resort is now open. The Hartsong Lodge opened more than a week ago. It has stayed packed ever since. And now what makes this different from the Dream More experience? Take a look at this. You're going to feel like you're visiting Dolly back at her holler. The sounds of crickets nestled in the Smoky Mountains as if you were at Dolly's Tennessee Mountain home. But the Hartsong Lodge is much bigger, and the Commissioner of Tourism says this not only changes tourism for Sevier County, but the entire state. This is huge for the entire state of Tennessee because Dollywood continues to be both excellent and also growing. So we're grateful. They just won the golden ticket for the best park in the world by amusement today. They just went over 3 million visitors last year. You enter Heart Song through the Portica Share to the Grand Lobby. It's an open area with a portrait of Dolly to greet you. On the other side, you'll find the grand five-story fireplace. Outside, you'll find pools and hot tubs, splash areas for the kids, all nestled in the trees of the Smokies. Each room inside brings a unique experience to accommodate large and small families. But Dolly says this is way bigger than she could have imagined her Tennessee mountain home to be. It is huge. It's magnificent. I guess that's the best word. It is just magnificent. Of course, I'm so proud of Dream More, and I still love it here, but the new lodge is just incredible. Dollywood's new convention center, which is attached to the Heart Song Lodge, can accommodate hundreds of people. Dollywood says this puts them into a whole new market, attracting convention tourism right here to Sevier County. A lot of times they'll go to a different state because they can't get their day in Pigeon Forge when they want. So we think our 26,000 square feet of convention space helps not only Dollywood Parks and Resorts, but also helps our community do better when more people are here. Dollywood plans to add more resorts in the coming years and even a campground with big plans for their 40th anniversary, still to be announced. Exciting news for the Commissioner of Tennessee, who says we all benefit from the investments of Dollywood. What's great is we get sales tax on that visitor spending. It helps us not have a personal income tax. It helps all of that money, almost all of it, goes for education, for safety, for health, not for tourism. Of course, back live at Dollywood for a Smoky Mountain Christmas. This is one of the busiest times of the year for the park. We're here for Christmas now, and Josh is here to tell us about something coming next spring. This is the brand new Dolly Parton experience. So Josh, tell us what some of folks are gonna be uh, kind of experiencing in this area that we call the Dolly area of the park. Yeah, absolutely. So the Dolly Parton experience is going to be our largest Dolly footprint that we've ever had on the park. It's gonna be three times larger than the previous footprint that we had. And it's something that holistically tells Dolly's story and what she brings to our area and what her upbringing was, how she got to where she is and the impact that she's had. Uh, of course, there are very specific areas about Dolly's life that are gonna be a part of this Dolly Parton experience. We've got some never before seen images, I think that we're gonna put on the screen. Tell us about Dolly the song teller. Right, so our song teller experience with Dolly, we wanted to be able to tell her story from the start to where she is now. All along the way, all those many steps, you know, so many of our guests nowadays, they don't know about the movie Dolly that came on the scene with 9 to 5. They don't know about Dolly when she was on her early television shows in the 60s and the 70s. So we want to be able to showcase everything, her entire life story, right? That song teller experience. And it all culminates at the end with a, a, a phenomenal immersive attraction that we have, a walkthrough experience that really tells holistically who she was, who she is, and what she's provided to us. And I think we're all amazed all the time at her wardrobe because she does not wear the same thing twice. We know she's got an entire team uh, putting her wardrobe together, and now you can get a behind the scenes look at behind the scenes. Right, so she just released her book, Behind the Scenes, uh, that talks all about her wardrobe and, and how she's so, uh, she's so focused on what she does. Everything has such a purpose, and we always get these comments on what she's wearing, how she picked it out, how she got the inspiration for it. And so what's so cool about this behind the scenes exhibit is it's going to be rotating. 
we're going to be able to show different themes of her dresses, different color palettes that she had to offer, why she did this at that time, and explain multiple different items that she's put on and have that change so that guests can come back and experience something new and different every time. All right, Josh from Dollywood talking about the new Dolly Parton experience that's coming, and I'll tell you, I believe this is going to be a fantastic addition uh, to the park. So more from Smoky Mountain Christmas coming up at 4.30 when we will talk live with one of Dolly's family members who performs here on the park, Ms. Heidi Parton. Kyle and Josh, thank you both. Appreciate